Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to my land. <laughs> it's currently seven. Yes. Oh, okay. It's currently seven thirty a.m. We've we've woke up and we're going to the doctor's. Seven a.m. Let's put the bag. <laughs> In the boot. Yeah. Oh, that's expensive. Come on, you slag. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it me. All right. Parking ticket acquired. Hey. The ticket machine where I parked was broke, so I had to run all the way down to it. We've got three minutes to get in the hospital. Oh, we're late. We're late for an important date. Are you ready? Are you ready, steady? She's got no deodorant on, she's got no makeup on, she's got no nothing on. For the next three hours, she's gonna be one smelly. <laughs> Lydia. Shower. Yeah, you'll be fine. I honestly reckon, because like Carl had to wait ages on a list once, and I reckon Lydia's gonna go first with the operation, be done, and then I'll get to come in and spend the rest of the day with her. Optimistic. Oh, always, always gotta be optimistic in life. But anyway, we're almost here. Pretty empty. Pretty empty. Might be first. Take care surgery. Let's go. Alright, but we really avoid it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's really necessary. I think that's the sort of main things. I'm hoping we'll be quick in and out, right? I don't think it'll be. How long do you think it'll take? Probably about if the laparoscopy so overall I'd say about forty five minutes. Really? Oh that's gonna take yeah. about two hours. Yeah. Can be done. Are we do? Are you gonna try and do it? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the yes. keyhole first, just yeah. because it might be. I mean, it may be that you know what? Because what 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 we do normally is when you're in theatre, yeah. we we'll examine you properly, and when you're asleep, it's easy to examine you, and if it feels really massive, then I think there's no point in messing about with the scope as well, and then wasting another twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Might as well just go and open your tongue yeah. and do it directly. So but the scope, scope gives good information because yeah. it, it can so it can give tell us where exactly this is, how badly this stuff is. The other one also affects kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you can get good view. Yeah. But, if you do open it, does it, where does the scan Right, we go. We have basically been prepping for the, the case the worst, which is a cut all the way across for them to be able to operate and all this sort of stuff. But they said they're going to try keyhole to see if, what it looks like. And if they can remove it, you through keyhole. I mean, I go back to work. Yeah. Uh, nah, we're three months still off. <laughs> we, we're not going to travel. But but also, like, if they do that, they do that. The, where we thought the cut line was going to be is much lower down as well. So much lower down. So obviously, like, I was concerned about it being right across the tummy, but it's going to be much lower down below the bikini line. Do you feel good? Yeah, no, I, I feel really good for you. Like, really good for you. She doesn't have to have a spinal to knock her out. She's having anaesthetic. But I want to, I want to watch her drift off. But it's a really... I, I haven't been like, let me film, let me film. But it was like, if there's room, they, would, they were going to let me film. Um, it's a really small one. It's a really small room, so I'm just staying out of the way and just not being that guy. But um, she's going to drift off to sleep. Yeah, you watch the rest of my max. I'm not sad. Lydia can't eat, but I can. Ham and mature cheese toast or ham cheese toast? Yes. You better know I'm taking a vanilla goddamn latte. What we did find out is that we've not got until 11 o'clock. Wait, what? We have got until 11 o'clock, until Lydia's um, potentially even going to be on the operation because things can get delayed, an emergency can come in between. She is last on the list today. So it's now currently 9 o'clock. We've got until 11. Hopefully, you know, it pans out nice and smoothly, but I got myself a latte. I think I've gone the wrong way. Mate, um, 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 I'm lost. <laughs> this is just typical me. Well, that's theatre, so it's not there. Where am I going? I don't know. Claimed you. They claimed you. You belong to the, oh, you didn't get them like proper ones. Yeah, these are the new ones. I don't like that one, actually. They've got it backwards These though. are a bit more nice, a bit more calm. The other ones are a bit too doctor -y. I think we can get it changed. Oh, it came straight off. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> vlog as much as I can for you, like I promised. Okay, so I've got some paper knickers. <laughs> Super attractive. I've got some plastic things to go on my shoes. I've got a gown. 
and so I've got my dressing gown on. So I've got my dressing gown on over the top and my slippers and I've got a pillow that apparently I have to guard with my life because they're like gold dust. What are the chances? Matching. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Matching. I could have just walked out of that building at any time. I've seen your car as well and I was like... Any yeah, up. but I could have walked out of the building at any damn time and I walked out and see you rocking this. What's your name? L. Min. What do you know about that prime parking spot, eh? What are the chances of me bumping into L then? That's crazy. Like, I was going to sit in there and wait for her, but she, like, the operation will take like 45 minutes and then maybe like two hours before I can see her after that. So I was like, there's no point in me just sit, sitting there. So I'm going to go to Alice's house. But that was really nice to see L. That was cool. Alice. Alice. Love me. Alice. Alice. Hello. 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 Let me in. I need to stroke the cat. Let me stroke the cat. Oh, you didn't cry. No. A neighbor was a defender's assemble, assemble team member. <laughs> Screw you, snotty, teary tissue. Oh, oh fuck, I missed. Damn. Screw you, snotty, teary tissue. Yeah. Oh, oh I missed. Oh, the flames have cut out. Screw you, snatch your tissue. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to set on fire. Burn, bitch, burn. Oh, what is it doing? That is the most possessive. What's that? Ever What's wrong with your what's, fire? What's wrong with you? What's your tears made out of? Steel. Hey, so, just an FYI. This is the kitchen unit my dad's fit, fitted for Alice. I hope he hasn't fitted this. Because that is the bentest plug socket I've oh, ever no, seen. Coming off. I'm getting chrome on. These oh, chrome I was going to say. These are going on. I was going to say. That is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, Ken. As an electrician in training, that was ridiculous. But Dad was drilling something on the wall. And when he drilled something on the wall, he accidentally went through the other side. Oh, what an idiot. So he's going to get that fixed as well. <sighs> You know what? He's a legend. My daddy can fix and build anything. Anyway, he's gonna have to fix this toilet after I finish with it. So you do actually do housework. You are actually a useful woman. Oh, not, <laughs> oh, not triggering the uh, feminist. Sorry about that. Like, I just mean like, you actually do stuff. I thought oh, Carl did all the housework. You made a comment about dust, so dust. Who made a comment about dust? Yeah. Oh, I did. What? Well, no, I commented on the soundbar. Did you clean the soundbar? Let's have a look. Let's check her cleaning skills. <laughs> Ooh, that's all right, that, that's all right. You missed the trick with the top of the TV. Oh, this is what Ooh. this is. Yeah, show you something. Wow, this is what Syndicate Original Clothing is really used for, guys. I got a minute. Oh, better side men clean the TV. My, my mood when I see Alice clean my, my, her TV with my merch. Well, I did get this piece of paper which said ring up. So I've rang up after an hour and a half. Don't know what's going on. Don't know if she's out, finished. But can't go in even till three o'clock. And it's half past twelve. I will let you know. No, I don't. I, I really thought that, because it was 45 minute surgery, that when she got out, they made it sound like I could go and see her. I forgot about visiting hours because they didn't tell me anything. So I've got to wait until three o'clock. So I've got two and a half hours basically to wait. But I love you. I love you too. I'll see you later. Hope she's all right. Thank you. Need my car keys. No, no, not going anywhere. I know. I know. I'm so sexy. I know. Hello, kiddies. Hello, kiddies. Hello, kiddies. Are you nice and dry now? Yes, you are. Look at you. You hungry? You should be because you've decided to feed into your water bowl. The, the well done. That's so went through. Well, where's your sister? Oh, she's so cute. Kitty cat's fed. <laughs> Steve. You're supposed to eat the food, not give it piggyback rides. Now, get off his back and eat him. Eat him. Eat him, Steve. Eat him. Make him the, the, the little piece of pet food he is. I don't know where I'm going with this, but okay, Steve. Enjoy your dinner. And oh my God, look at how nice his color looks. Fresh, Stephen. Fresh. I've now got until three o'clock. I got till three o'clock. But if I can, I can even visit her once. And then I think I've only got from three till six, and then like maybe eight till nine or something like that. So I completely forgot about visiting hours. I was really hoping that as soon as she had her operation, 
I'd just literally be able to sit by her bedside all day until she got hospital because she might be in there for two days. They're trying their best to keep her in there for one, but it is what it is, you know. Doctors know best, 100%. Um, so I'm just back home now, kind of doing nothing. Um, so I think the only thing to do is uh, play RuneScape. Oh my lordy, Jody, I forgot about something. So you remember the cats in here pissing, yep. Well, the TV's gone. You probably never even noticed it because no one ever used it. I moved into this house, got all brand new TVs. Didn't use it once. However, ta-da! Moved it into here, which I hope it doesn't like make a sound echo in the room again because it's a perfect like curvature to be able to do that. But now, when I'm sat here live streaming, I've been meant to do this ages ago, I'm now gonna have my CCTV on there at all times. Hmm, this is a thing. This is a thing. You two are a thing. What are you doing? You know something's going on, don't you? They're like looking out over the over the weather like something's going on. Where's our mama? Where's our where's our mama? Where is she? Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Wow, yeah. Just 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 because Lydia's having an operation, no one's at work today, eh? Is this what it is? No, Alice is at home. At oh, you're at work? Yeah. Oh, you're going on a walk? Oh, oh yeah, oh right, yeah. I've got a oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, at least, at least you're promoting Syndicate Original to the farmers up the road, eh? The right way around this time. See you later, Mum. <laughs> Got about half an hour now um, before I'm going to re-ring up the hospital and find out what's going on. Lydia's still not texting me, so I'm assuming she's uh, either still asleep or something like that, so we'll just have to wait and see how things go. I googled it. I only get from 3 till 4.30. Alright, we've had contact. Lydia's mum rang the mum and it turns out she's just just at like half past two come out of surgery I, I, I'm kind of mind blown that she's only just come out but that means one thing well it could mean one thing that either there was a delay and she just got caught up and was stuck there waiting for other people to finish before she could actually get her surgery done but more importantly that the procedure took longer because it was going to take 45 minutes if they did it keyhole but it sounds like they've had to cut her open so we don't know until i get there so i'm heading out getting her some flowers and then going seeing her because she'll still be like wearing off the anesthetic because i don't even think she's awake right now so we'll see how many attempts how many fucking attempts dude i've drove past it like three times and i'm just like empty up okay, sean my daddy. fuck me up as always nice update Woo. about to get run into nope day as it stands is that she's got no bed. She's got no bed into. So even if she gets out the recovery in 30 minutes, she's actually got no bed to go into because they put a different patient in what was assigned to be Lydia's bed. So we don't know what's, we don't know what's going on now, but I've now only got 50 minutes to be able to see her in visiting times. But if that 50 minutes is up and she's still not been assigned a bed, I can't see her now until half past six. So uh, I'm hoping I will make it. I just don't think you can go wrong with a bouquet of flowers like that. What's your favorite color? Pink. What's your favorite flower? Roses. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think I look as spacey as I feel. I don't look as spaced out as I feel. <laughs> I've been to this hospital a few times with Lydia and never found parking. But what are the chances are, that's the spot I parked in when I first came this morning. And now this is the spot I'm parked in now. Yes. I don't have to pay for more extra parking. Reason why? I got an all day ticket, yeah. I would assume everyone's leaving because the visiting hours only have a half an hour left, if not less than half an hour. I'm just hoping Lydia's got a bed so I can even see her for one minute. Because if I can't see her now, and I have to wait till half six and I know she's out, mm, mm -mm, I'll be sad. How to survive at hospital 101. Another toasty, and this time a hot chocolate. With my flowers for Lydia, slowly, like melting in the heat. All right, because I still don't know how long I'm going to wait. Alice is inviting me up to her house because she only lives about 10 minutes from here to just go get some food, even though I did eat that. Um, it might be like another hour and a half yet before Lydia's got a bed, which I actually think it will be another hour and a half because all the beds are full. And even if she doesn't get a bed in the next hour and a half, I'll still have, like, if she doesn't get a bed within an hour and a half, I won't be able to see her still. So um, I'm going to go there. Wait until she tells me I can come and then come racing here. And now we to her bed finally. I'm trying to vlog for him. <laughs> I'm leaving. Being wheeled. It's my really bad. All my slippers are there ready. <laughs> of course. I, I, I went and got the uh, coconut milk for Alice from Tesco for the food. I don't know what she was cooking, a curry or something. Um, went to get the coconut milk. Got it. Got nine tenths of the way to Alice's house, got to Alice's house, and Lydia rang me saying she's in a bed. So, 
dropped it off, turned straight around, ran out of petrol, running to the doctors now. Go. Well, this is my third journey into the hospital today, but I might as well get used to it because I'm visiting her now, then going home. Then I'll be back tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and tomorrow night. It's weird, isn't it? Like, not in a bad way, but you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Or when you can't get something that you usually can just get all the time, like something as simple as a hug, or a kiss you just appreciate it so much more. Here I come. They let me in. I've seen her. She's using the bathroom. I thought she was going to be like out of it, like, but she's okay. She's up and she's walking, so. Is it one of the biggest you've seen in a while? It is quite big, so basically, that's... <laughs> Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. Can come on that side? Can I? Uh oh, here we go. Are you ready? I'll just, I'll just oh, yeah, go for it. So, you ready? That's, that's it there. Whoa! Right. It's like a golf ball. Just above. And, and then that's after we removed it. So that's the ovary left. That's how big it was. So we, yeah, yeah, there was a good amount You're of You're joking? Left. Yeah, that's, that's the right ovary and tube. They're lovely and healthy. No. That's the womb. Oh. So that's where it was sat there, you see, that's where it was sat. I can't believe how so clear the picture is. That's gone now. So that's the ovary left, so that ovary now looks How like... could I not see it? <laughs> on my two yeah, yeah. How big? Is that like an actual... Was it the size of a golf ball? No, it was the size of a... No. Grapefruit. <laughs> it's huge. It may do deeper inside, but the, the pathologist will cut it up. And then it often things like respiratory tissue, brain tissue. Can we never see tissue. it again? Can we never... She, I think she wanted to take it home as a little ornament. Well, my kids, my kids, like... I want to see it. It's so it had bad. hair inside it, and so did you say it? did it have a tooth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness yeah. me! Well, do, do you know what it looks like? like a a gobstopper. You know one of them big massive gobstoppers you can get. Yeah, really? Wow! God's on form. The massage leg thing keeps beeping, so we've killed that immediately. And her, her grandma's written her a note, which is what? Just kind of angry, but kind of loving. It's very loving. Yeah, I do. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the temptation is real. It's a sign. One, one, five. And then there was one. Well, two. How are you feeling? Hungry. Hungry. She had a grape and threw up. So now she's got a little bit of toast. Is it Warburton's? <laughs> Look at you. You're a little sweetheart. Is there anything I can do? I've got five minutes left. Do you want a foot massage? Are you sure you don't want a foot massage? Because you've got one toe just sticking out like that. <laughs> I will be. This machine keeps beeping and Lydia's now got it down to a T. Every time it beeps, on and off. Probably going to break. Does it feel nice though? Does it feel good? It's like squishy. Look, can I see them? It's got like these wrap on things. See if you can catch it when it's doing that. You can, you want to tell me what it's. Can you cut off my one? This. So what it does is it like. Oh, it vibrates. Yeah, like vibrates, doesn't it? So it vibrates to, to, keep, to keep the blood in a leg moving. I can't see it moving, but I can feel it. Oh, yeah, I can see it squeezing. Wow. It's called the Flow, Flowtron XL. Ooh, suits you. I think it's more because, like, so that if you don't get up, so I've already been to the toilet. Yeah. To help stop blood clots forming. Yeah. Yeah. You look, from when I walked in, you look 150% more awake and alert, yeah. even though you've been th sick twice. <laughs> Aw. And we had to get rid of the flowers. I know Lydia's favourite flower is a pink rose. But what she doesn't like is... And what was in your flowers? Yeah, sorry about that. You like the look of them? Well, lucky for you, they're not allowed on the ward. They let me give it to her as like a gift, but then um, they had to go because they can't stay here overnight for hygienic reasons and stuff. But she might only be in here for one one day if the uh, toast doesn't kill her i will she asked me to bring her a, a chocolate yogurt and i did and it went out a date on the, um, the 6th of january it's currently 11th so i'm not going to give you this because you're not blaming me right no 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 if you don't stop talking i'm gonna put this bed 
like a buddy sandwich. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to go up? You want to go down? Down? So I can make you lean all the way off the bed. That probably wouldn't work, so let's think over here. Ready? So that you can eat and drink something. Yeah. Um, so that you can manage to keep it down, yeah? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Little documentary. Painful. Can you feel it again? No, painful. It's just so weird. Yeah, I feel cold and... It's very cold, you, said, you said that before, didn't you? You said it felt cold. Thank you. I'm going to give injection to your tummy as well. Visiting time at the zoo is over. What? Don't go yet. But I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> I think I might get in trouble if I stay. Well, if you go and get it and fetch it round, when she's ready, I'll fetch it down. Okay. All right. Just, well, no rush just yet. But, mind you, are you on the motion? You're such a softie. I love you. Just like that. I've been kicked out. <laughs> I didn't know what time the visit. I thought visiting hours were till eight, but it's now ten to nine, so I think I got a bit longer. But she's all right. She's she's min. She's doing a thousand times better than I thought she. I honest to God thought she like wouldn't be able to like communicate with us because she'd be so passed out and stuff. I didn't think she'd be. She was like got up and walked to the bathroom and stuff. Like the the like everyone said like the nurse and everyone. The sis was so big. Like you saw it. It was so. It was so big that like some of the nurses in the room were like, whoa, that's the biggest we've like they've ever seen in their career. Um, and it's just mad, like it, it was 12 centimeters, like a 12 centimeter ball. Like, I don't even know, how big is that? But absolutely gigantic. So yeah, just <sighs> crazy. But the doctor did an amazing job. The consultants did an amazing job. And like more than anything, they, they, like, Lydia wasn't even saying anything like, you know, hey, like I'm 24, I don't want a massive scar or anything. She didn't even say anything like that. But they they went out their way to go, listen, we know you're young. We're, we're gonna try our best to make the cut as small as possible to remove it so it heals nicely for you and it doesn't leave you with a scar or anything. And they just went above and beyond for her and I cannot thank them enough. But like the bed situation about not finding a bed, to me, not even a problem. It happens and I'm, I, I, I don't care. Like. I, 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 she was comfortable, she was taken care of, I wasn't bothered, I was just, I was just sad that I, I wanted to see you and when you want to see someone so bad and you can, it's upsetting. So, I'm glad she's okay, she's gonna sleep there the night. I'm gonna go home and maybe live stream, uh, just to take my mind off things and then uh, in the morning I'll come here but I'm not allowed to see her till three o'clock at, at night so I'm just gonna like linger around at lunchtime so in case she's up having lunch. I can just FaceTime her and let her know that I'm close by if she needs me in case anything happens, so that's the plan. Good time to drive home. Kitties are fed. I am tired, but I'm going to grab a shower to freshen myself up a little bit. I haven't eaten any food because I was going to have my dinner at Alice's, but then that got cancelled because Lydia was okay. So, you know what? I'm going to shower, snack, and live stream. I should really just get in bed, but I feel terrible on my uh, stream subscribers because I just haven't been live streaming in forever, so we'll see how things go. Nonetheless, I'm tired. Making myself a nice cup of tea at 11 o'clock at night before I stream. I feel like I'm being watched. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you realize what you're doing? What are you doing? I know exactly what you're doing. You're eyeing up these. If I'm streaming and I hear a smash, you know who's going to be in the bad books. You. Oh, you got two kills, struggling. But more importantly, look at this. Look at this. Look at this chat right now. Oh, oh. Shout out to Pepper151, Admiral Akbar, Sam D. Wurst. Wurst. Yep, nailed it. Ducky, Baben, Element Laura18, Varney2, Brog Maka, Mesa, and uh, Nathan Wide2131. Thank you very much for subscribing. I almost thought his name was Nationwide. As well as White Werewolf91. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Don't mind me, just gliding in and oh, 115 sub train chat. You know what this means? That means the Syndicate Original Shirt giveaway. So, all the subscribers in the chat can enter into this raffle. And Joanna, one of the mods, just won it. Let me show you. Joanna Wood34 has been on Twitch, follow me, subscribed as a mod in the chat. 
and has just won herself a shirt. Now, Joanna, I'm going to let you win the shirt. I'm going to send you another free shirt. We'll get in touch with you. I'll send you the same message. I'll, I'll probably do it over Twitter more than it's like, easy for me to do, all right? But I don't think it's fair to give a shirt away to just one, a mod. If it's a mod, it's like a lucky re-roll. We get to go again. So don't worry if you've already entered. I'm going to run it again, and we're going to see who's going to get it this time. So let's go again. Oh, you guys are lucky. You guys get a second chance to be able to do this. Oh, by the way, shout out to Reno. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, Benjaminator, thank you very much. Zitch Twitch, welcome board five months in a row. And Creeper2312, thank you very much. And the next winner is going to be in five, four, three, two, one. Adder! X Ganbon! You're following me? For 1,291 days. God damn! Uh, so say I only had four hours sleep, I'm still streaming. It's five o'clock in the goddamn morning. This stream has been going for four hours. Shout out to all the subscribers who are still awake with me. I can't believe we're still going. And shout out to Mr. Mall. He's an absolute legend, but oh my god. We still go in and I still haven't got a victory. They've noticed they're all like, hello, hello. Finally, time. For bed. Six o'clock in the morning and my kitty cat looks tired. What the hell are you doing? Are you comfy there? You look extremely comfy. However, you're laying on your back, you absolute sausage. <laughs> I really can't believe it's six o'clock in the morning and look at this situation. I have both the cats just absolutely chilling. Gadsby's like looking like he's done something wrong as usual. And Luna, come here. She just wanted to do it. She just wanted to cuddle. And listen to her again. She's like a bloody tractor. Luna the tractor. <laughs> Amazing cats. Are you ready? Watch. I wiggle this foot. The cat jumps on it. I wiggle this foot. Watch. <laughs> and then I wiggle this foot. Watch. Oh, they're both doing it. Right, now I've got to remove my feet. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> but guys, I have to end this vlog here. Honestly, a massive thank you for the love and support you guys have sent to Lydia. Um, it's just been overwhelming to like, on her Instagram and all that sort of stuff. Everyone has just like flooded, flooded it with nothing but love. And like in the comments of the video, like you guys know she reads all of them. Thank you so much. The procedure couldn't have gone it like better, to be honest. It worked out really good. She's healing really well and she's just got to get back on the right recovery path. So hopefully I, I will either get to go to the, the hospital tomorrow or she'll get like dismissed from hospital and she'll get to go home to her mum's house. Because um, like we talked about whether she's going to stay here or she's going to stay at home and she's going to stay at home. Because if she stays at home, that way at least she's going to make sure she gets three meals a day. So that makes complete sense and won't survive off ramen noodles with me. But anyway, like I said, thank you so much. And to the people who've asked, can we send Lydia, uh, like, get well soon cards? Absolutely. If you, if you want to send Lydia anything, all you have to do is, like, just write to Lydia. And if you click the, the show more in the description, you'll be able to see an address, which is uh, my P.O. box. If you guys want to send Lydia, like, a... A get well card, a basket, a, a, a note, a letter, anything. If you want to share your story about it, um, feel free. Send it in. I'll do a little video unboxing with her because she's she's gonna have all this time off. Like it'll give her loads of stuff to read. She loves reading and she loves like like listening to you guys and meeting you guys. So if you want to send her a card, let's see if we can absolutely overwhelm her with get well soon cards. Uh, link will be down in the description for the PO box and uh, make sure you put two Lydia so I make sure she gets it and I'll film it. So thank you for all your love, guys. Thanks for your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next daily vlog. Leave a like, rate, subscribe, and until then, much love. And a D us. And more importantly, thank you to the doctors in the NHS for making this like possible. Like seriously. We we take for granted, like I, you know, I don't I don't care that there wasn't a bed or, like straight away or anything like that. The fact that we managed to do it is absolutely incredible. The the power of being a human. Well fucking done, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work.